Hey there, in this Webflow tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this sliding hover text animation, which could be used in the context of a portfolio section or a menu animation. So stay tuned. So the only thing I have so far is I have a section and I'm using the wizardry method. So I'm using M units. So I have a section that I've set to flex the vertical, stretch or line, justify the center, minimum height of 100 VH. And then I have my container which I have 5 AM padding top and bottom, and then 7.78 M padding left and right. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop in my collection list. And I'm gonna go drop in a link block. And I'm gonna give this link block a name of city link. And I'm just going to give it some 3.33 padding on the bottom. And then in that city link, I'm going to go drop in a div. I'm going to name this div city name wrapper. And in that city name wrapper, I'm going to display to flex, center align, justify to the left, overflow hidden. And I'm going to set it to relative. And then in that city name wrapper, I'm going to drop in a text block. I'm going to connect it to my locations. This would apply to whatever you've named your collection list. I've named mine locations. I'm going to add in the name. And I'm going to name the text block city name opacity. And I'm going to style my font settings. I'm going to give it a size of 4 EM. And I'm going to give the color white color with 50% opacity. And I'm just going to tighten the letter spacing a little bit and just make it a little bit more bold. And I'm gonna set the text to relative as well to control the Z position, give it a Z position of 10. And I'm gonna duplicate this city name opacity. And I'm gonna give the duplicate copy a name of city name hover. I'm going to set the position to absolute with zero on the left and then auto everywhere else. Then I'm going to set the color to full full white, so 800 alpha channel. And I'm going to set the Z position to one higher, so 11. And then this is important on the text settings. In the more text option, there's a breaking. I'm going to set the breaking to no wrap, and I'll show you why in a second. But breaking no wrap on the hover one. And then set the overflow to hidden. And now we're going to do our animation. So we're going to go to city link, element trigger, mouse hover. And we're going to start a new animation. We're going to name this one mouse hover in. And we're going to target our city name hover. So we're going to go to size, set the initial state to 0% width, and our end state to 100% width. And now we'll give us something like this. And now we'll do our hover out. So on hover out, start animation, name this one mouse hover out. And we're going to target the city name hover, go to size, 0% width, out court, and I'll give it a duration of one. And then it looks like this. And now earlier I mentioned the importance of adjusting that text breaking 
the field. Let me show you what happens if you don't adjust it and leave it as is. So when I go back into my text city name hover, and I'm going to put the breaking to normal. Then I'm going to go to my city name wrapper, and I'm going to make the flex line stretch. Now on one word phrases, it still looks normal. But watch what happens when we get to multiple words. You see how it jumps? This is why once we adjust the breaking to no wrap, it's back to working.